you can find any record by scrolling through the records and clicking on the desired record. With a large table, scrolling through all the records might take a while, so you might want to use other methods to get to specific records quickly. Use the vertical scroll bar to view more records. Clicking on the scroll bar arrows, move one record at a time. To move through many records at a time, drag the scroll box or click on the areas between the scroll box and the scroll bar arrows. Access does not update the record number box until you click on a field. Click on a field, you can see the record numbers are updated. You can navigate between records by using the navigation buttons at bottom. Click on arrow buttons to navigate to the first, previous, next or last record. Click on new record to add a record. Type a record number and then press enter to navigate to that record. The record number is counted sequentially from the beginning of the data sheet. It does not correspond to any field value. Enter text in the search box. The first matching value is highlighted in real time as you enter each character. You can use the find feature in the find and replace dialog box to locate a matching record. When you find a matching record, that record becomes the current record and you can then edit or delete it. Now try to search for employees with the job title as owner. Select the field you want to search. Job title is already selected here. On the home tab in the find group, click on find or press Ctrl and F keys together. The find and replace dialog box appears. In the find what box, type the value that you want to match. Optionally, use the look in list to change the field that you want to search or to search the entire underlying table instead. The match drop down list contains three choices. Any part of field. Access searches to see whether the value is contained anywhere in the field. Whole field. The default is whole field, which finds fields containing exactly what you have entered. Start of field. Field starting with the value entered. Select any part of field. Now type a value in find what box. Click on find next, you can see the record is found. Now select whole field, try clicking on find next, record not found. Enter the exact value and now the record will be found. Now select start of field and enter a value matches with the Start of the field. Click on find next, the record will be found. Match case determines whether the search is case sensitive. Try testing entering a lowercase value which doesn't match. The record will not be found. If case matches, then record is found. If match case is checked, access does not use the value search fields as formatted. If search fields as formatted checkbox is selected, access finds only text that has the same pattern of characters as the text specified in the find what box. For example, if you are searching the price field for a value of 200, 
you must enter the dollar symbol and the decimal point if set fields as formatted is checked. See the record is not found. Now clear the checkbox to search for an unformatted value 200. Now the record is found. To find the next occurrence of the value, click the Find Next button again. The search begins when you click the Find Next button. If Access finds the value, the cursor highlights it in the data sheet. The dialog box remains open so that you can find multiple occurrences. Choose one of three search direction choices, up, down or all in the search drop down list to change the search direction. If you select down, then access will start searching downwards in the table and once it reaches the last record displays record not found. If you change it to all, the search will start from the beginning again. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.